How did the Earth form? This question has a lot of answers. Scientifically, geologists use a special timeline called the geologic timescale that is broken up into larger and smaller subdivisions. Now in this video, we will focus on one of them, the Archean Eon. The Archean Eon is the earlier of the two formal divisions of Precambrian time, about 4.6 billion to 541 million years ago. If you were able to travel back to visit the Earth during the Archean, you would likely not recognize it and think you're in Venus. The atmosphere was very different from what we breathe today. It was likely composed of methane, ammonia, hydrogen, and carbon dioxide, which would be toxic to most life on our planet today. During this time, the Earth's crust cooled enough that rocks and continental plates began to form. Archean oceans were likely created by the condensation of water derived from the outgassing of abundant volcanoes. Iron was released then into the oceans from submarine volcanoes in oceanic ridges and during the creation of thick oceanic plateaus. Carbon dioxide emissions are abundant from modern volcanoes. This high concentration most likely gave rise to an atmospheric greenhouse effect that warmed the Earth's surface sufficiently to prevent the development of glaciations, for which there is no evidence in Archean rocks. Throughout the Archean, oceanic and island arc crust was produced semi-continuously for 1.5 billion years. Thus, most Archean rocks are igneous. The oldest known rocks on Earth, estimated at 4.28 billion years old, are the faux amphibolite volcanic deposits of the Novoagituk greenstone belt in Quebec, Canada. The second oldest rocks are the 4 billion year old Acasta granitic gneisses in northwestern Canada and a single relic zircon grain dated to 4.2 billion years ago was found within this gneisses. A huge pulse in the formation of island arcs and oceanic plateaus took place worldwide from 2.9 to 2.7 billion years ago. By the time of the Archean Proterozoic boundary, about 2.5 billion years ago, many small cratons, or stable interior portions of continents dominated by island arcs, had coalesced into one large landmass, or supercontinent, that some scholars refer to as Kenor Land. It was early in the Archean that life first appeared on Earth. Our oldest fossils date to roughly 3.5 billion years ago and consist of bacteria microfossils. In fact, all life during the more than 1 billion years of the Archean was bacterial. This is an evidence of 3.5 billion year old bacterial ecosystems found in Australia. The Archean coast was home to mounded colonies of photosynthetic bacteria called stromatolites. Stromatolites have been found as fossils in early Archean rocks of South Africa and Western Australia. Stromatolites increased in abundance throughout the Archean but began to decline during the Proterozoic. They are not common today but they are doing well in Shark Bay, Australia. The geology of the planet has guided the evolution of life, and life has shaped Earth just by existing.